Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at some of the coolest earbuds that we've had tested on the channel. These are gamer earbuds with RGB and packed, I'm telling you, with some serious bass. Let's check out the Gravistar Serious Pro True Wireless Earbuds, and guess what? If you're caught in a pinch and you need a bottle opener, they can open up bottles too. Now the Gravistar Serious Pro True Wireless Earbuds have great features. We're talking about six hours of battery life, 24 hours with the case, and they can be used independently and play non-stop except for the right earbud swap. That you'll get a slight pause. They do have a light bar, which you're gonna see in a couple seconds, that can change colors depending on how many times you press on the light button. You have 7.2 millimeter dynamic drivers, and then you also have a noise reduction technology that is gonna help you enjoy more the music. Uh, it has low latency gaming, so if you want to be able to use them in game mode, you can expect low latency of 65 milliseconds that's optimized for gaming. Uh, there is actually three game modes, or three modes. You have a gaming mode, a movie mode, and a music mode. They're also featuring Bluetooth 5.2, and if you're worried about using them in the gym or you're working out, they're IPX5 rated. Now, as you take a closer look at the case and just the overall presentation of the Gravistar Sirius Pro, these things are rugged. So I'm gonna put it in an angle right there so you can see the actual LED. And you can push this button. Let's see if I can, I can see it right there and then push it so you can see the changes. So you can change it to green. You can change it to kind of like a lilac or purple. Uh, it's a yellow right there. And then uh, there's like a teal blue, a dark blue or navy, red, right? So you have all these different color options. And if I put my hand over it, you can see how maybe it pops up a little bit more. Uh, USB-C uh, charging here in the back. And again, just an overall really rugged looking design. Now, if you're looking, let's say for example, I mentioned to be able to open up a, um, let's say a beer bottle or any kind of bottle. All you have to do is notice how it has a little teeth right here. You put it like this and then you can able to pop things open. So pretty cool that you can actually use this uh, to open up a bottle if that's something you'd like to do. Now, uh, besides having the USB-C on the bottom, uh, to open them up, you press this button on the side and then they pop open. As soon as you open them up, what will happen is you'll hear this audio uh, as soon as you put them in your ear, that goes, it's like a machinery turning on, which is also really cool. And they will light up. Uh, as we take a look at the earbuds, uh, each of them, I'll put these over to the side. And they've, I've already heard them make the noise. Uh, you'll notice that they have a similar design to other earbuds that we've seen on the channel. They have a little sensor there. They have a left and right indicator and they go into your ear canal. Uh, they don't really have a, um, I would say a large footprint or profile. Uh, you can see what they look like right there. And I'm gonna turn to the right and turn to the left. Uh, they do have uh, tap functions, right? Not physical. So what you do is you tap if you wanna go like into game mode, uh, you're able to tap like three times and switch through each one of the modes. And then also what you're able to do is uh, use them to play pause. So you have all the controls and even you can access your, uh, if you're using either, let's say for example, a Alexa agent or a Google agent, or even if it's Siri, you can control it using the earbuds itself. Now, when you put these on, you do get a good seal, right? And you also get, um, I would get, say, great music separation. So bass, mids, and highs are present. Um, nothing seems to be competing too much. And then the low latency mode in my test works um, really well, especially if you're doing uh, phone gaming. So I've been testing it on, on the phone. Uh, when it comes to overall, I would say, music experience, as I mentioned, really, it's gonna come down to you hearing this next test. So I want you to put on your headphones or earbuds so you can hear what I heard. Bass, mids, and highs are present. Uh, I think they sound really good. Check it out. You look at me like I'm crazy When I suck my feelings down You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I
Now next we're going to do a call quality test of the Gravistar Sirius Pro in a quiet environment. If you take a look at our decibel readings, anywhere between 24 and 28 decibels of noise. It's going to switch. This is what the Gravistar Sirius Pro sound like in a quiet environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. Next, let's add some wind to the environment. And this is what the Gravistar Sirius Pro sound like with wind in the environment. This is our test. One, two, three. This is our test. Now we're switching to testing the Gravis Stars in a noisy environment. So you can look at our decibel readings. Yeah, anywhere between 40 and 80 decibels in noise. Let's go to switch. And this is what the Gravis Star Series Pro sound like in a noisy environment. This is a test. One, two, three. This is our test. And this is what the Gravis Star Series Pro sound like if an infant were crying in the background. This is what they would sound like if an infant were crying in the background. Now if you're curious on how they would sound if a dog were barking in the background, this is what they would sound like with a dog barking in the background. Now, if you're curious what they sound like with a doorbell ringing in the background, this is what they would sound like with a doorbell ringing in the background. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Sirius Pro Ultra Low Latency RGB Gaming Earbuds. See you in the next one.